Hi there. In this video I'll be answering another question about refraction, describing how to find the critical angle experimentally as well as using the refraction equations. Here's a question from the old higher specimen paper. Part A asks us to describe with the aid of a diagram how you would use a source of monochromatic light and a semicircular glass block to measure the critical angle for the light in this glass. So here's the semicircular glass block. The dotted line at 90 degrees to the surface is of course the normal. What you would do then is direct the light into the glass block like this. You then increase the angle of incidence in glass until the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees. At this point the ray of light is partially reflected and partially refracted with the refracted ray straight along the air glass boundary. You would then measure the angle of incidence in glass which would be equal to the critical angle. So, increase the angle of incidence in glass until the angle of refraction is 90 degrees, then measure the critical angle with a protractor. Part B then says, a ray of monochromatic light is incident on the face XY of the right angle glass prism as shown below. The diagram is drawn to scale. The refractive index of the glass for this light is 1.49. Then part 1 asks us to use the value given for the refractive index to calculate the size of angle x. Your working must be shown. Now, if we give ourselves more room to work, the equation to use is this one. Refractive index n is equal to sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2, where theta 1 is the angle in air and theta 2 is the angle in the medium, glass in this case. I've said a little bit more about this equation in the other refraction past paper video. So I'd suggest you watch that one, if you've not already done so. What we're trying to calculate is theta 2, the angle in glass. So we can rearrange our equation like so. Sine theta 2 is equal to sine theta 1 divided by n. Then substitute, which gives us sine 45 divided by 1.49, which equals 0 0.475. This is the sine of the angle in glass. So to find the angle, we calculate sine to the negative 1, 0 0.475, which equals 28.4 degrees. B part 2 says, using a protractor or otherwise, find the size of angle Y. First, we'll find the size of this angle. Now, we know all the angles within a triangle add to 180 degrees. And we know all the angles within this triangle except angle theta. We can calculate it by subtracting the other angles, 30, then 90 plus 28.4 from 180 degrees. This gives us 31.6 degrees. Since the normal is drawn at 90 degrees to the surface, it follows that angle Y is equal to 90 minus 31.6, which equals 58.4 degrees. Of course, in this question, we were also given the option of using a protractor to measure angle Y, although that's not always the case. Part 3 asks us to calculate the critical angle for this ray of light in the glass. So we use this equation, sine theta c is equal to 1 divided by n, where n is the refractive index. This gives us 1 divided by 1.49, which is 0 0.671. Critical angle is then sine to the negative 1, 0 0.671, which equals 42.1 degrees. Finally, part 4 asks us to describe and explain what happens to the ray of light at face XZ. So of course, because the angle of incidence in glass, 58.4 degrees, is greater than the critical angle, which we found in B part 3, the ray is totally internally reflected at an angle of 58.4 degrees. Now notice the level of detail I've given in the answer. It might seem obvious that the angle of reflection is the same as the angle of incidence, but it should still be stated. As I said, the reason the ray is totally internally reflected is because the angle of incidence on face XZ is greater than the critical angle for glass. And that's us finished the question. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.